wash your feet this way and watch what happens today i want to share with you a spiritual practice that you need to start doing if you want god to order your steps if you want to be at the right place and at the right time and i'm sure you would love that god will bless your feet so that anywhere you step into you will take possession if that sounds like something you'll be interested in then let's get right into today's video hello amazing family welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet it's your girl evelyn ambrose recording from abuja in nigeria if you're new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much it means a lot to me and i really appreciate it if you're new to this channel then you may consider subscribing because here i try my best to encourage you in your walk with christ kindly go ahead and give this video a thumbs up now or at the end of this video if this video made sense to you you see our feet is an important part of our body when it comes to moving around to get things done or to pursue your career so that you can survive and that is why i have decided to share this video with you so that you can start practicing this spiritual exercise do you sometimes feel like after stepping into a place things just begin to work against you things become difficult in your life sometimes this could even lead to evil dreams of people chasing you my dear brothers and sisters after practicing today's video you would see how things will begin to change for good in your life before we start this video permit me to give you a few benefits of why you need to perform this spiritual exercise what is this spiritual exercise i'm talking about it is when you wash your feet before stepping out at the end of today's video after doing this you would understand what i mean one of the benefits of doing this is to cleanse your feet it may be that you have stepped into a place that the enemy has used to trap your feet and because of that you cannot move forward you need to cleanse your feet so that you will be released and by cleansing your feet i mean asking god to cleanse your feet from any place you may have stepped your foot into that does not bring glory to his name this exercise releases you from bondage from stagnation you may not know this but some people's feet have been tied so that they do not progress in life the evil one doesn't want you to achieve anything in life and you know that by tying your feet down you can barely move and movement is one of the ways you achieve success because you have to move from one place to another to interact with people to meet your destiny helpers you understand what i mean and so when you are not able to move you become slow your life becomes slow i don't know why i have been prompted to do this video for you but i feel like somebody out there needs to hear this and do this immediately if you are able to wash your feet this way then it can help you to receive god's blessings as you move towards that door god is about to open to you let's look at what joshua 1 verse 3 says i promise you what i promised moses wherever you set foot you will be on land i have given you this is one of god's promise to us and our feet plays a very important role so having said this i'm going to share with you how to do this spiritual exercise of washing your feet first you're going to need a bowl of water now i'm using this for video purpose but you know that you have to get a bucket where you can dip your leg into okay and then the next thing you'll be getting is your anointing oil i have done a video about how to use the anointing oil if you have not seen it i'm going to pin it somewhere so that you can watch it after this video now in this bowl of water that you have before you you're going to dip your feet into it and begin to read psalm 51 let me read what psalm 51 says have mercy on me O god 
because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion, blot out the stains of my sins. Wash me clean from my guilt, purify me from my sin. For I recognize my rebellion, it haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say. And your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not punish me from your presence. And don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach your ways to rebels and they would return to you. Forgive me for shedding blood, O God, who says, Then I will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Unseal my lips, O Lord, that my mouth may praise you. You do not desire a sacrifice. Oh, I will offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O oh God. Look with favor on Zion and help her. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with sacrifices offered in the right spirit, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will again be sacrificed on your altar. Now, the reason why you are doing this is for cleansing, okay? Now, after you have read Psalm 51, you are now going to make your intentions known to God. Ask God to release you from unprogressiveness so that things will begin to work well for you. When you are done with that, you are now going to get your anointing oil now with the anointing oil bring out your feet from the water and begin to rub on your leg anoint your leg and as you anoint your leg you declare blessings on your feet pray that god will direct your step pray that you shall never walk into evil people ask god to direct and lead you to your helpers that as you wash and anoint your feet that the day will be favorable to you and may you not encounter calamity just you know declare every good thing you can imagine into your life by anointing your feet your feet that takes you to places say it don't be tired god is not tired of your prayers he wants to help you a closed mouth is a closed destiny so begin to Say all the good things you want to attract right now in your life. And that is all you have to do. Please, it is a lifestyle. It is something that you have to be consistent with. If you're going to be doing it every new month, make sure you are always showing up to do it. And with time, you will just get used to it. And the way favor will begin to hit you left, right, center. When people ask you, you just say, you don't know what's happening, but there is something you have been doing that opened the way for future favor. So please keep doing it and watch how your life will change. I pray that as you do it, that the Spirit of God will guide and protect your step. And may every obstacle be removed from your path in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much, amazing family, for being here with me. If this video made sense to you, now is a good opportunity to give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, I don't know why you've not subscribed because this is what we do on this channel. I try my best to encourage you in your walk with Christ. Feel free to drop a comment of what you want God to do in your life and I would agree with you in faith. Also, share this video with somebody whom you think needs 
this video and yes amazing people that will be all for now and until next time this is evelyn ambrose saying bye